my precious daughter, quiet your heart and listen to my words. Disasters are coming, one after another, an epidemic worse than the former, a plague more horrific and deadly than smallpox and Ebola is coming, a global famine is coming, more earthquakes, floods, volcanic eruptions, fires are coming. Your governments are moving more rapidly towards a unified peace system. Under the direction of the beast, a unified world government, a unified world religion, a unified monetary system, a system of more control, manipulation and deception, the new world order. Most people of this world are giving up their privacy and freedom, little by little, so that they can continue to work continue to buy and sell, continue to provide for their families, and will eventually abandon me, their creator, so that they can continue to live. Even many of my people will give up their faith in me and openly deny me, their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who came in the flesh before men in order that they can get a small piece of bread to fill their bellies. Way to those who love their lives more than love me. Way to those who receive the mark of the beast for the sake of survival, for the sake of buying and selling. Way to those who deny me before men. For those who love their own lives will lose them forever. Those who have received the mark of the beast or have the number of the name of the beast and worship the image of the beast will be separated from their creator forever. Those who deny me before men, I will deny him before my father and my father's angels. The lake of fire with brimstone is their portion. My children, your enemies are accelerating their long planned plan to strip you of your privacy, your freedom, and finally to destroy your bodies and take away your souls so that you can join them in the lake of fire that burns with sulfur and suffer with them the punishment and torment for eternity. They know very well that their days are numbered. Can't you wake up? Do you still believe that if you cooperate and obey them, you will be able to live as before? Look at what you have lost now and see if their control over you has diminished or has further intensified. Wake up. Inhabitants of the earth, your days on this planet are numbered. Your former days have become one of your fondest memories, a beautiful dream that can never be realized again. You are sinking deeper and deeper as in the midst of quicksand. If you do not immediately stretch out your hands to me right now to let me catch you, and save you from the world that is determined to devour you. You will become the prey of the enemy of your souls, just in a moment. Reach out your hands. Hold my hands that are stretching out to you. Do not let go of them, no matter what happens. I am God Almighty. I am mighty to save you. Come to me. Give me your hearts. Give me your everything. Allow me to be your life and your everything. My coming is near. The door of the ark will soon be completely closed. Do not hesitate. Do not delay. But run. Run fast. And make sure that the oil in your lamp does not run out while you are running. 
Come to me to buy oil for your lambs, so that your lambs may always be lit. Come to me to buy eye salve for your eyes, so that your eyes may always be bright, and you may always be alert. Come to me to draw my blood shed for you on the cross of Calvary, by confessing your sins and not sinning again, so that my blood may cleanse you from your sins and make you righteous and holy without spot or blemish. I am coming for a holy bride. The trumpet is about to sound. The dead in me, Christ Jesus, will rise first and then will be caught up together with the children in the clouds who are still alive and remain and who are truly mine to meet me in the air. The angels will methodically put on white and glorious robes for each one of you. Happy laughters and cheerful voices shall resound through the skies. But woe, woe, woe to those who are left behind on earth. Do not become one of those left behind, for this is not my will. For I desire that each one of you who I have created will come to accept me the Son of the Most High God, Jesus Christ, who came in the flesh as their Lord and Savior. I desire that each one of you will come to the place where I dwell, to dwell with my Father and with me forever. For I have prepared a place for each one of you in my Father's house, a beautiful mansion that exceeds abundantly above all that you could ask or think. Do not give up on your beautiful mansion that can be with us forever. I will soon come to receive you unto myself. Hang in there. Your journey on the path to heaven is only a few steps away. Then you will be home. Reach out your hands. Hold on to my hands. Do not let go. I couldn't wait for this day, this moment, I am coming. The lover of your soul, Jesus Christ.